In this video, we're gonna talk about the differences between Squarespace and WordPress and why they're actually fairly similar, but maybe one is a little bit better than the other. We're gonna break it down right here, right now. Stick around and check it out. Nathaniel Dodson, tutvid.com. Let's talk today about Squarespace versus WordPress. Which do you think is better? Which do I think is better? And why do I think one is better than the other? So let's jump into it. Ease of setup. Squarespace, dead simple to set up. You go to squarespace.com, say, get started, pick out a theme, boom, you've got a subdomain, you're basically ready. You're, you've built the, the vast majority of your site. You can enter your billing information whenever, sign up for the seven day trial, you've got a website. You can always edit the theme, start tweaking things, start adding content, but in literally minutes, you're set up with a website. WordPress, on the other hand, you need to go and you need to download WordPress. You need to upload it, install it on your server, and then you need to connect it to a database, and then you run the setup wizard, and then find a theme for the website, and then you basically begin building your website after that. So Squarespace definitely wins by a long shot in terms of easy being easy to set up. Now, when you actually go to set the website up, you need to find what's called a theme, right? In Squarespace, they have themes. WordPress, they have themes. It's the way your website looks. Squarespace has like 20 to 25 themes. They're all pretty nice. They're all very mobile friendly, responsive, fast, lightweight, easy, great. WordPress, on the other hand, has tens of thousands of themes. Some of them are really great. Some of them really stink. Some of them are free, some of them are pay for themes, some are very easy to set up, some are really difficult to set up, but you have tens of thousands of them. So I have to give the edge there to WordPress uh, in the theme department. When it comes to features and what you can actually do with your site, Squarespace limits you a little bit, not that much. You have dozens upon dozens of things you can do. Video players, SoundCloud integration, blog posts, pages, galleries, all kinds of stuff. WordPress, you can do even more. There's virtually no limitation on WordPress. But see, I think that's kind of bad because unless you're actually a web developer and you know what you're doing, you don't want all those limitations. You're gonna break more things than you actually figure out and fix. Um, so I'm gonna give the edge when it comes to features to Squarespace because what they have just works. It's simple, it's great, it's easy, and it just works. WordPress can get bloated. And again, unless you're versant in the WordPress language, you're probably gonna mess things up. So I'm gonna give the edge, slight edge, to Squarespace, and I could understand if you made an argument for WordPress. Now, when it comes to plugins, ways you can extend your website and get even a little bit more functionality, maybe you want a specific kind of gallery uh, or a game or some kind of video background or something like that on your site, Squarespace doesn't really have any plugins. Um, There's some companies that do make plugins for Squarespace, you gotta pay for them. WordPress, on the other hand, tens of thousands, probably even more than that when it comes to plugins. Vast majority of them are free. And even the plugins that you have to pay for, um, there's usually, uh, they're free up into a certain point. So WordPress um, really gets, wins this one by a wide margin when it comes to plugins. Let's talk about e-commerce. Squarespace makes e-commerce so easy. I like to say that it takes the fear out of e-commerce, especially if you've never set up a store before, you don't know how all that payment stuff works, uh, inventory and stock and, and, and all of that stuff, how it all works together on your website. Squarespace makes it dead simple. The one thing I don't like about Squarespace is they force you to use a, um, a company or a payment gateway, maybe we could refer to them as, called Stripe, which nothing against you, Stripe, great company, beautiful interfaces, easy to use, but it's that's all there is. There's no choice, there's no variety. If you can't make Stripe work and you can't work with it, um, it's not like you can just connect your PayPal account and call it a day. You must use Stripe. WordPress, on the other hand, you do have way more functionality, but there's also a lot more setup. You gotta find a plugin that works for you. Um, you have to make sure you get everything set up. You have to set up your payment gateways. Everything needs to be set up. It's a little bit more complicated, ranging to much more complicated. Squarespace, very, very easy. So despite Stripe, Edge goes to Squarespace when it comes to e-com. SEO, let's talk about SEO. Um, Squarespace allows you to edit like the headers of your website, obviously the content, which is king when it comes to SEO. Um, but I've never gotten the SEO performance and organic reach out of Squarespace that I've gotten out of WordPress. WordPress is so finely tuned, so honed. There's some amazing SEO plugins that WordPress has available for free um, that provide you with great guidelines and things like that. I gotta give the SEO edge to WordPress. Um, and it's kind of not even close. 
Uh, next up, we've got maintenance and security. This is kind of boring stuff. They both do a great job of keeping things up to date. Um, uh, WordPress, excuse me, is open source. Community does an amazing job. Updates come out fairly regularly. You can choose when to update or not. You can back up your server or your, your database, excuse me, and all of that. Um, it's great. Squarespace also does a great job. Never had an issue with maintenance or security with either one of them. Um, so I'm gonna call that a draw. Both are amazing. Community. Squarespace, I mean, they've got somewhat of a community. They've got a great system of forums. Their help documents are incredible, um, but that's also because it's kind of a limited system. So most of the things that can go wrong, they pretty much have a lot of documentation, even on things that you might think are fairly obscure problems. Likelihood is you'll find some kind of help doc written about it or question asked about it in one of the forums. WordPress, much larger system, a lot more that can go wrong, but WordPress is community. WordPress is open source software. It's everything about it screams community. There's thousands of tutorials, tens of thousands of help articles, forums all over the web. WordPress has an amazing community. WordPress wins community hands down. Now, when it comes to cost, without getting into like crazy cost tables, uh, you can have a Word, uh, excuse me, a Squarespace website for as little as five bucks a month. Likelihood is you'll probably spend more like 15 to 20 a month on a Squarespace site. It's all inclusive though. When you decide what you're gonna buy, everything's included in that monthly price. WordPress, you need to buy, or you need to make sure you have a domain, your hosting, um, and the likelihood is you'll also have to buy a theme. So I'm gonna give the cost edge to Squarespace because I know what I'm getting into, I know what I'm buying. Sure, you can find some great hosting deals with WordPress. I've never been a fan of cheap hosting. Um, so I'm gonna give the edge on cost to Squarespace. I think it's amazing value for what you get. It's such an easy, comprehensive package. Um, but WordPress is, it's, it's really, it's pretty competitively priced. Both are pretty good. Very slight edge goes to Squarespace. So finally, which do I choose? If somebody came to me tomorrow and said, I need a website to sell my, my own personally designed shoes by next week, I'm gonna set them up with Squarespace because it's something they can edit, it's something they can adjust, it's something they can go in and do wholesale redesign on, it's something that they can manage the e-commerce system very easily on. There's not the kind of learning curve that WordPress has, and there's also not the kind of design build that you would have with WordPress. Um, WordPress is amazing. There are virtually no limitations. The sky is literally the limit with WordPress, whereas Squarespace does have limitations. You eventually get to a point where you can't do much more. There's a developer mode where you can do a lot, but you're limited in Squarespace, but it's easy, it's beautiful, it's responsive and mobile friendly, and it's inexpensive. You can't go wrong with it, especially if you've never designed a website before, or maybe you're setting up your first shop, something like that. Go with Squarespace every time. WordPress, if you're a little bit more web savvy, you're a lot more web savvy, and you want absolute control over everything, you want a totally unique website um, that looks totally different, then go with WordPress. WordPress is great for that kind of thing. But just know, it's a bit more work. So WordPress versus Squarespace, tell me what you think. I would love to hear what you have to say. This is all about community, right? So have you used Squarespace? Have you used WordPress? Which do you prefer? Which do you think is the better choice? That's it. Nathaniel Dodson, tutvid.com. I'll catch you in the next one. Hey, wait, stop. Before you click away from this video, I just wanna remind you, if you enjoyed the video, go ahead and hit that little like button. It helps this video go up. And going up is what I like. That's what we wanna do. If you also have a couple more seconds, go ahead and leave a comment. That's cool too. That's it for this one. If you enjoyed this video, check out either of these two videos right here. For more of the stuff that I do, this hand is weird. Right there. Thanks guys.